Hello, the internet. My name's Warren. Welcome back to my channel. We are on a little bit of a field trip today. I am going to be going into Lowe's just to see if there's anything there. Um, not really expecting anything, but you never know. We might get lucky. Got some little things out here that say patio perfect. Let's see what those are. Oh, I need a freaking one of those. I might not get it today, though. Let's see if there's any plants I want. Crotons. <laughs> oh, they got some... Got some nice California alocasia. Some nice ferns. They had, for a little while, some really huge... Um, Paradise. They had some um, really big trio stars. Doesn't look like there are any more of those. These are really pretty. Look at that with the little white speckles in them. I don't know what that is. It's kind of cute though. They have one of these. So they have gotten some new stuff in. This is in my way. Alright, I guess I'm going around. Oh, they got some basket or some things over there too. So oh, that ponytail palm is kind of falling over a little bit. Oh god. There's another one of those Calithia Macayanas in there. bunch of easy plants. Pretty nice size. Pitsenbachia. Oh, here's a couple of Monstera. And you know we have to check because we always check. I saw that leaf under there and had a heart, a heart attack for a second. Just a second. these quarter lines I love them so much that they do not overwinter well money trees they do have these are just cute but I don't like the plants that are just green leaves a lot Some shade, both of these oh, poor little alocasias. Oh, poor babies. Oh, cute little. Oh. Okay, interesting. I think I liked it better when it didn't have this thing on the bottom, but. Ooh, what does this do? Oh, it's a wick and grow. So you put the water in there. And then it just... Isn't that cool? Might be good for the fern. Kind of like that. I mean, hey, if it helps you keep the plant watered. Um, okay, so what do we got? We turned around. Here is the price reduced section. Mostly orchids, which I'm just not interested in getting another orchid. Nice big succulents. And actually, that's a pretty cool pot. I kind of like that. Like I said, they've been picking up their pot game a little bit. You know, I just don't want the succulents that are in them. <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty? Some string of, string of bananas? Are those bananas? They don't 
Maybe. What is that? Just an aloe. Sorry. Just an aloe. It's got a lot of red marks on it, though. Alright, elephant ears. Still got these begonias that unfortunately have not sold yet. Oh, they have a couple of Sinbads here still. Um, nothing super special that I'm seeing. Okay, um, I guess we'll go this way. Oh, I didn't realize that these would trail like this. They're not cool. That's the olive. Oh, here's a Birkin. Yeah. How you looking, little guy? If I didn't already have a Birkin that's in good shape, I would definitely go for this. But, I mean, there are a lot. I mean, look at, look at how many plants are in there. Like, there's just a lot of little baby plants in there. Um, okay, what do we got? Tritoscanthia, bromeliads, um, lots of bromeliads, orchids, Zansevieria, some African violets. Littler orchids. Flowers are so pretty. Honey tree. Huh? Oh no no no! I have I don't have a cart, but thank you. Um. Got a lot of these Tritoscanthia though. And spider plants. I actually haven't seen spider plants in a while. Oh, and there's some sort of a calathea down here. Hello. What kind of calathea are you? Green home decor. Huh. Not really one that I was looking for in particular. And calathea are a little rough, so probably going to leave that alone. Yeah, it looks like it's time for the big baskets of succulents. Wow, those are. These are the ones I guess you're supposed to just kind of stick them on your patio and just get that. They just got string it off and sitting in there. Oh. Um, yeah, not just not as into succulents as I used to be. I think that kind of happens a lot. Um, but yeah, okay, we're gonna go look around outside. I may or may not include that in the video. But if not, then I will see you guys with the outro. Persian shield. Look how beautiful that is. Mine just did not do well. Oh, those are pretty. That looks like a type of begonia. Yep. Look at the flowers on those. Those are probably tuberous begonias, but man, I like those leaves too. And caladiums, not looking so hot. I guess they need more water than that, possibly. 
Oh, they got some Persian shields over there. I am not trying that again, though. Because I did not do well with the other ones. Those are kind of pretty. Uh, I did not do well with the other ones. And I do not think that I will do well with these. But they are very lovely. So here's a nice shot. Is this your bluier one that you like, Terry? Hmm? I ended up getting like this, the one with the yellow on the outside. Just a little individual guy of them for five bucks and I decided I'd give it a shot uh, probably gonna plant them outside let go go for the year see what happens um, and research a little bit about like if it needs to go dormant and all that kind of stuff but I love the little plant and the I love the little flowers and the leaves I just really like the leaves too they're really pretty so and then I ended up getting my tomato cage Okay. Um, because I bought something, so I needed that. But anyway, short video. If you like this video, go ahead and like this video. If you'd like to see more of my stuff and whether or not I do any good with this begonia, subscribe and stick around. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.